We've got 24 triangle things right over here. And what I want to do in this video is to divide it into different numbers of groups. So the first thing I want to do is I want to divide this 24 triangle things. I want to divide it into three groups and think about how many do I end up per group. So let's try that out. So I'm going to divide into three equal groups. So that is one equal group right over there. Then I have another equal group right over here. And then I have a third equal group right over here. So if I divide 24 into three equal groups, one, two, three, how many are going to be in each group? Well, we can count that. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in each group. So we could say that 24 divided by three is equal to eight. Now you might say, hey, this is very similar to what we saw in multiplication. In multiplication, we said if we have three groups of eight, we could view that as three times eight and get 24. And you are exactly right. We could also write three, let me do those same colors. We could also write that three times eight, so if I have three groups of eight, three groups of eight, that that is going to be equal to that is going to be equal to 24. So we started in this video. We had 24 things. We want to divide it into three equal groups. We got eight in each group. Or you could say three equal groups of eight is equal to 24. But there's even other ways of thinking about this. So let me clear this up a little bit. So let me clear that. We could also view, so in the first example, I, view 20, I divided 24 into three equal groups. But you could also view 24 divided by three as dividing 24 into groups of three. So let's think about what that looks like. So if we divide it into groups of three, then for example, this is a group of three. That is a group of three. This is a group of three. You might see where this is going. That's a group of three. That is another group of three. And we're going to think about how many groups of three we're actually going to get. So this is another group of three. And that's another group of three. So how many groups of three did we get? Well, let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight groups of three. So another way of viewing 28, sorry, the other way of viewing 24 divided by 3 is divide 24 into groups of 3, and then you will have eight groups of 3. And one way of thinking about this, if you want to express the same, the same thing in terms of multiplication, is if you have eight groups of 3, if you have eight groups of 3, that is also going to be equal to 24. Whether you have four groups, sorry, whether you have three groups of eight or eight groups of three, either way, you're going to have 24. Now, let's make things more interesting. What I want you to think about is what is, based on what we just saw, what is 24? What is 24 divided by 12? And I encourage you to pause the video, draw out 24 triangles like this, and try, to, and try to figure out what 24 divided by 12 is. Well, I assume you've paused the video, and there's two ways to think about 24 divided by 12. You could say, well, let's divide 24 into groups of 12 and think about how many groups we have. So we could do that. So let's see, this is, this is one group of 12 right over here. That's one group of 12, and then here is another group of 12. It's another group of 12. So how many groups of 12 do we have? Well, we have two groups of 12. So we could say 24 divided by 12 is 2. But in another just as reasonable way of doing this is you could have said, you could have said, well, let me divide 24 into 12 groups instead of groups of 12. So if I want to divide into 12 groups, 12 equal groups, well, let's see, this is one equal group, two equal groups. Actually, let me do it this way. Well, let me do this yet. Yeah. Two equal groups, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
So once again, if you say, well, I'm going to divide 24 into 12 equal groups, how many do you have in each group? Well, you have two. So once again, 24 could be viewed as 24 divided into 12 equal groups, and how many do you have in each group? Or 24 divided into groups of 12, and how many groups would you have? And that's what we saw in the, in the last example. So now let's make things even more interesting. What I want you to think about, a couple of things. I want you to think about what 24, what 24 divided by, let's say, divided by 6 is. And I also want you to figure out what 24, what 24 divided by, let me use the same color, divided by 4 is. Divided by 4 is. And once again, I encourage you to pause the video, draw out these triangles, and figure it out. What is 24 divided by 6 and 24 divided by 4? So let's tackle 24 divided by 6 first. And I'll view this as let's try to group, let's try to divide 24 into six equal groups. Six equal groups. So let's see, this could be one equal group, one equal group, two equal groups. In fact, each group here is a group of four. And we have six rows. So three equal group or three equal groups, four, five, and six. And so if you divide 24 into six equal groups, how many do you have in each group? Well, it's pretty clear. You have four. You have four in each group. Another way we could have thought about that, another way we could have thought about that is we could have said, we could have said, what is, how, what, let me divide 24 into groups of six. So if you divided 24 into groups of six, you could have viewed it like this. So that's one group of six. That's one group of six right there. That's another group of six right over here. It's another group of six. And I think you see how many groups of six we have. How many groups of six we have? We have four. We have four groups of six. Four groups of six. Well, now let's think about what 24 divided by four is. Well, if I divide, if I think, if I view 24 divided by 4 as taking 24 and dividing it into four equal groups, I've just drawn that. I have four equal groups, and in each group I have six. In each group I have six. So notice, 24 divided by 6 is 4. 24 divided by 4 is 6. And that's because I could view this as four groups of 6, or say that 4 times, 4 times 6 4 times 6 is equal to 24, is equal to 24. Or you could just as equivalently say that 6 times 4 is 24. You could equivalently say that 6 times 4 is equal to 24.